So about five, six days ago, I did a video talking about how Gavin Newsom just passed a law that basically made it illegal for firearm manufacturers to promote guns or market guns to children. All that's designed to do is for as many people to be able to bring lawsuits to the gun industry to basically financially bankrupt them. Now, if you didn't believe me when I said it then, this is what Gavin Newsom just did. Well, it's well known that nearly every industry is held to account when their products cause harm or injury. Well, except one, the gun industry. The gun lobby, well, it spent millions and millions of dollars buying off politicians to shield themselves from any liability. Today, California is going to change that. They can no longer hide from the mass destruction that they have caused. I'll be signing a bill that will allow Californians to sue irresponsible gun manufacturers and distributors. If you've been hurt, or a family member is a victim of gun violence, you can now go to court and hold the makers of these deadly weapons accountable. Our kids, families, and communities deserve to live without the worry of gun violence. And with Assemblymember Ting's bill, gun makers will finally be held to account for their role in this crisis. There's this federal law called PLACA. That's what he's referring to as far as the gun immunity. It's called the Protection and Lawful Commerce and Arms Act. What it was designed to do was to stop anti-gun groups from filing frivolous lawsuits to destroy the gun industry. This happened a long time ago. Even the DOJ at the time said, if this law isn't passed, the, gun, the government won't even be able to get guns because there'll be no gun companies to get it from. Gun companies are not immune from liability. If a gun manufacturer creates a gun and it hurts somebody because they mess something up in terms of the production of the gun, you can still sue them. What you can't sue them for is for simply a criminal going out and using their particular gun to shoot somebody or to do something illegal. But what this law is saying is if any act of gun violence that happens, the victim or the family of that victim can then sue the gun company simply for making the gun. That's it. I want you to take into account the number of gun deaths in this country and then multiply that by how many people could possibly bring a suit as a result of them being a family member to a victim of that particular style of gun violence. After a certain point, you won't be able to fight any of those laws, regardless of how frivolous they are. You're going to run out of money and you won't be able to make the very thing that you're in business to make. Gavin Newsom and all these other anti-gun lobbies and anti-gun states like New York also has a law like this. They understand what this will do to the gun industry. They understand how much it's going to destroy it financially if it's allowed to continue to happen. But that's their goal. Think about it. I want you to imagine for every car accident that ever happens on the road that you can go and you can sue the car manufacturer that made that car. Somebody drives this rental and goes out and hurts somebody or kills someone. You can sue the car manufacturer who made it simply because they actually made the product that was used. What is reasonable about trying to destroy an entire industry by way of frivolous lawsuits? And that's what this is. It's designed so that any Tom, Dick and Harry can go out there and say, well, my cousin was killed by a firearm that you made. What about the criminal? What about holding that individual accountable for that? Irony is, I don't even know if you can sue the criminal who actually engaged in the actual violence that took the lives of the individual that the family member is now trying to sue the gun manufacturer for. So if we really want to talk about responsibility, if we really want to talk about protecting the Second Amendment, if we really want to talk about having a right in this country to defend yourself, how are you doing that if you're destroying the manufacturers who make the products for the individuals to go out and protect themselves with? You're not doing that. What you're trying to do is you're trying to destroy it so that you can gain more control. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.